Let's get a grip of how to counter this OP as hell support. First, pick someone like Sona who can constantly outpoke her shield and has the stun to interrupt her ultimate as well. Nami for exactly the same reasons, poke and interruption of ultimate, or Blitzcrank for the Q on Jenna who doesn't have skills to help her dodge or survive the all-in. Thresh for the same reason as Blitz, Brand and Zyra for their continuous poke are also viable counters. Jenna's passive grants her movement speed and also the same buff to allies walking towards her location. It also makes her auto attack damage scale with bonus movement speed. Her Q prepares a tornado on a location that will get larger range and knockup duration the longer it grows, but can also be instantly cast with a second Q pop. Her W is a point click ability that slows enemies, and her E is a very powerful shield. Right now it has really high cooldown in the early levels, so be sure to abuse that. Jenna's ultimate throws every enemy away and heals allies inside of the area. This along with her Q makes her perhaps the best disengaged champion in the game. As for her spells, she'll most likely be taking exhaust and flash or heal and flash with this new ADC taking barrier meta. Exhaust works pretty well too as with every support champion. Janna's level 1 is pretty strong compared to most heal supports out there. Her shield alone will be almost enough to make her ADC win all trades. But the fact that it is on an 18 second cooldown with 1 point in it can allow you to abuse the enemy ADC if she uses it stupidly. Levels 3 will allow her to protect her ADC very strongly and 6 even more so. Try to engage the ADC after she's used her shield and before level 6 to win lane or get a really good trade. You know what item I'm gonna talk about right? Arden Sensor is a really humongous power spike right now and she'll be able to finish it at around her third back which could be between 9 and 12 minutes depending on how the lane is going. She'll be very useful all throughout the game but I'd say she shines mostly in the early mid game rather than the absolute late game. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, abuse her early shield cooldown, don't chase her or anyone she's protecting, it's literally pointless, and try to CC her down and finish her quickly in teamfights. Ultimately, have fun doing it.